Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am exhausted. I don't know how I'm going to get through the day, but I'm wanting to make a quick video um, just on my top five moments in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial because obviously um, the evidence concluded last week. The deliberations uh, from the jurors start today, so hopefully we will have or know an outcome in the next few days or it could go on and on. We don't know. So just wanted to make a quick video um, because I think there'll probably only be one more video after this. Um, unless there are any specific topics that people want me to talk about sort of in relation to the trial because most of my kind of last well my last couple of videos were more just updates um and commentary rather than any kind of analysis or evaluation so if there's anything specific you want me to make um I will make it but otherwise um I imagine there'll probably just be one more video on this um once we get the verdict um, we'll see though, we'll see, there might be more. Um, and also I'm like, what do I talk about now? What do I do now <laughs> that this trial is finished? Um, also, I think you can see my sunblock in this video as well. You can see it in my last one. And I think it's because I'm using a mineral one from Holland and Barrett because I didn't want to use a non-mineral one anymore because apparently they, they can react with your skin. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm allergic to sunscreen or not, so I thought it would be safe to go for the mineral one, which has been so good. I've not reacted to it. It really does like protect your face against the sun, but it literally like goes onto your face white. So unless you're like naturally really pale, it's, it's you're going to kind of see it and you can see it on your face, but whatever. Like I'd rather just stay protected and safe then worry too much about how it looks but anyway that was a bit of a digression this is meant to be a top five moments in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial so the first one I think has to be that Kate Moss made an appearance so um in the 90s Kate Moss and Johnny Depp were obviously an incredibly famous couple um she wouldn't have been called to the stand I don't think she would have been allowed to had Amber not mentioned her in her testimony. So Amber referred to an incident that she'd heard about where Johnny pushed Kate Moss down the stairs. Um, and then Kate Moss appeared on the stand and was basically like, Johnny absolutely didn't push me down the stairs and he's never pushed me down any stairs. And it was literally less than 10 minutes long, but it was just like an iconic moment. It's just so random. You're like literally sitting there like Johnny Depp's in this trial it's all being televised Kate Moss has just suddenly appeared so that was kind of near the end of it that was definitely one of my top five moments because no one was really expecting or thought it would happen um the second was um actually like on a more serious note I think some of the recordings that came out um and I think this is where perhaps some of the views switched so I read an article in the independent the other day which was um written by someone who says they didn't watch the trial but they've obviously done research seen some clips blah 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 and they were really intrigued as to why every like you know it feels like the nation or the, the world have turned against Amber Heard and you know is it because we don't like supporting women who are different or who are strong or um who are a bit alternative was the gist of the article and I think that's what the the author of the article you know that was her take from it that she thinks that Amber's a controversial character so she's not going to be likeable she's not all nicey nice she's too beautiful to be likeable all of that kind of stuff um which I'm not saying that doesn't have kind of a basis to it but what I would say from my own personal opinion is I've always thought Amber Heard was beautiful like I always thought like if you if you if someone said to me like oh you know who do you think's like one of the most like beautiful actresses in Hollywood I would think of Amber Heard whereas a lot of people didn't even know who she was before the trial I actually liked her films so I remember I really liked her character in Magic Mike too um and I'll talk about there's another film of hers I'll talk about at the end of this video because this is meant to be a top five but like all my videos we digress um so I actually liked her um, as an actress based on what I'd seen. I'd never really seen her in interviews or anything like that, but based on the characters that she played and then her aesthetic, I was like, yeah, she's she's cool. She's got that cool girl vibe. Um, so when the first trial happened, so the uh, libel case against the son that Johnny brought in, I think it was, can't remember what year it was. Um, I think it must've been 2018. I could have got that wrong, so please fact, fact check that. Um, when they, when the son called him a, a wife beater, 
I don't know if this video is going to get taken down because there are like some words that are like trigger words. Anyway, um, so I believed her like I as in based on the very limited stuff that we saw and when you're just presented something on face value by the media I was like oh my god that's awful like I, you know I can't believe he 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 does this like or he's done this or whatever I didn't really question it and I think another thing that made me not question it was the fact that um you know the point around all of her divorce money went to charity so it was like oh my gosh she must be telling the truth because she didn't even want the money Obviously, a lot of that has been turned on its head in this trial. So I think like the number two top moment in terms of like, oh, my God, I think were the recordings because they show her in a very different light. And I don't know what anyone else's perception of it was. But for me, when I heard that, I was like, that doesn't sound like a terrified person on the receiving end of everything to me. And that's also how it's come across to other people. So I think the reason that opinion has swayed on her, including myself, is I didn't know much before this trial. The last trial wasn't televised. We got the information the media chose to pick up. The media is often going to, like, is in the media that you end up seeing, because it's it, like there are loads of different outlets that kind of take loads of different views, but it's the popular opinion, the popular view that you're going to see the most of. So unless you do your own research, you look at everything yourself, you're going to be just faced with the facts from one side of the story. The difference with this is, I watched a lot of this live stream, like I wasn't relying on news sources, etc. to watch this. So my mind changed from watching unedited, uncensored information. So this lady who's written this article, I think that's fair to have an opinion, but I think you need to have watched all of the footage to understand why other people have the opinions that they have. Um, that being said, watch my other videos. I don't think it's a black and white picture. Um, I'm not team anything, but I I will let fully admit kind of my views of this whole situation changed from watching the live stream based on what they were before. This was meant to be a five minute long video and we're rambling on. So um, what was, I don't even remember. I said I was going to say a load of stuff in this video. I can't remember what it was. Um, so yeah, first moment was Kate Moore. Second was the recordings. Third was Dr. Spiegel. I talk about him in a previous video. Check that out. Fourth moment was Morgan Tremaine, who was the guy that used to work at TMZ. I also talk about that in a previous video. Check that out. But his like, um, his, uh, his, the thing that he said back to Elaine <laughs> was just like, just one of those moments where you're like, oh my God. Um, and then what was the final one? Gosh, like I thought of the five things before I came on here and like, you can tell I'm tired. You can tell I've been ill. You can tell like, I don't know what is going on in life. Um, I would say it was probably Dr. Curry and the muffins. Um, that bit was quite amusing. Um, so yeah, those were like the, the top five memorable things I would say in the trial, not my top five favorite things. Cause those, Scary recordings definitely is not like all my favourite things, but I have to say it on this list because like I think the five things that I've mentioned were the moments in the trial where it was like those like whoa is this for real moment. Um, what was I? What did I say that I was going to talk about later on in my video? Oh yeah, I was going to talk about. So I saw Amber Heard in a film that she made really early on, one of her really early films, and it's called All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. It's a horror film. It's very obscure. Like I don't even know if other people had heard of it or whatever, but that's kind of my one of the genres that I used to watch. So, you know, I came across it. And what I would say is check it out if you haven't seen it, even if you're not a fan of horror, it's not massively horrific, it's not massively scary. But the premise is it's about this girl that's like really hot, all the boys really love her at school. She's a bit mysterious. And then she turns out to be not as she seems. And you know, when you are like, whoa, was that like some kind of, premonition type thing that she took this movie kind of based on what we've seen in this trial based on what a lot of the opinions on this trial are um i should have put in a disclaimer i hope this doesn't offend anyone everyone i guess has got their own opinion on this a lot of you are going to disagree um that obviously in this in this video i am sounding more and more kind of not team amber heard like i said i'm not team anyone but these are just kind of the insights i've had from the trial um, but we will see what comes out in the verdict. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.